So today we're gonna to take and put the Rome case up on the Rubicon. That is a 2020 with a front runner uh, roof rack on it. Um, and I believe it's a slim line too. And I'll show you what kind of slats that I have up on the roof rack. So Rome will send you a, a clamp, and this clamp is going to go in here. If you have your handle that's still on, then I'm going to keep my handle here. What you do is just feed, feed the nylon up, and then push these two guys, just push them down. There's a little tab right here. It's like a little buckle. And just bring that down a little bit, and then make these flat up here. And then the long piece right here is going to go in. And then this, you want this a curvature right here to be on the outside. So you just take that, and pop that right in there. And then you can pull your handles, sleeve this catch, and just pull it back up in there. That way, when you take this off your roof, you can you can just grab this. Or if you're out on a camp or uh, overlanding trip or something like that then you can if you need to take this off and then you still have your handles up here the other option is you know to if you want to to remove those so this is part of it um, putting these in there's one on this side and there's one on the other side so from Rome you get the eight bolts like this but if you're running a front runner roof rack these will not work because they have flat heads. What you want is you want to get a 5 16 um, nut like this guy so you can put it down into the the hole in the in the slide and then slip it down. Um, but yeah these these don't work. Um, I'll just save these and one day hopefully I can use them for something else. With front runner slimline roof rack, these are 5 16 hex bolts and they're a perfect fit and they go right in here. So you slide them on down. Um, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you, the bolt itself, uh, you don't want to get too long of a thread because um, otherwise, what's going to happen is let's show this. So, if you when you pop that down in, what's going to happen is that's gonna sit right there. You're gonna put a washer and a nut, and then you're gonna put the case down, right? But these guys right here, the case is gonna sit on this right here, these two little platforms here in the corners. And you wanna make sure that you do not get a bolt that's higher than this guy right here. Otherwise, you're gonna be penetrating your case over time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually put the bolts in two on this side and two on this side. Then I'm gonna go over there and do the same thing. When you first get the mount, it has a little clip right here that clips into this opening. And to get it out, there's a little lever right here. And all you have to do is just push that and it releases this from this point here. There's also on this uh, connector here, um, there's an adjustable bolt once you get it all set up. We'll, we'll take a look at that later. But for now, before I put the case on, I'm gonna pull this all the way back, this bolt all the way back, and you'll see that I just have the bolts in the grooves on the, the rack right there on both sides. Now I'm gonna go get the Rome storage container and pop it on and adjust it for placement. So I have everything sized up and now I'm gonna tighten down the bolts, the nuts. So a lot of people don't show the fun part when you're mounting these. So once I put the bolts in, two on each side, I don't have, I put the bolts in on the other side, but I don't have any washers or nuts on them. And the one thing you wanna make sure is that when you put these in, you don't want to line these up with the opening right there where you slide the bolt down in. 
So that is one of the little entanglements that you have to consider when you're doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is on this side, I am I went to the rear of the Jeep, I centered the case, stood over there behind it, centered the case, and I think I'm going to tighten this side just a little bit and then go over to the other side and see what I have over there. But I'm going to do this side first and then align that side to center, the whole thing to center. So the bracket ends are bolted down now and for the test we're going to take the Rome case and we're going to pop it in to see if we still have a tight seal and then we're going to go through the uh, little bracket here on how to adjust this and align it up to the case you want to make sure that these mount pieces right here are snug up against your case so I make sure make sure that that is snug and I'm making sure that the right side is also snug. And then on this side, I went ahead and used this um, little latch. I latched it just to keep that out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is, this is a 13 millimeter hex nut, and I'm gonna tighten this one hex nut over here just so that I can maintain this um, bracket in that position on one side and then I'll go over and see what's going on on the other side but looking at the back of the Jeep uh, this is centered to the eye camper shell there and then we have the max tracks on the back right there the latch mechanism here so this is going to go up in here and then it's going to come down and clamp down on the bracket that you put on the case so to adjust it, one thing you can do is first thing, loosen up this nut here. There is a nut on the other side. Don't mess with that one. Keep that one the same. You can if you want, but um, I just leave that one. And then you're going to loosen this one. And then just kind of, it's uh, just test it out. So loosen it up. Bring it up. The handle. So the handle, you want it down, all the way down as much as you can. And then as you see, there's that much distance. So just pull it out, turn it down, turn the threads down. So you're getting closer. And then you can pop that in, then come down here, take the nut, just finger tight right now. And then we take the lever here and we'll swing it up. And remember, this is the latch to actually, you pull down on this to, to undo it. So we just push this up and there you go. That's pretty snug in there. That's not going anywhere. And with a couple of river straps on the top, that'll work very well. So when you wanna lock it, you just you take your lock and pop it right in there and this right here is the latch to bring it down. So you put your finger right there, that comes off. And then you can push down there a little bit or push the handle all the way down, which I didn't do. So, and you can make it tighter, but that's pretty snug right there. All right, we got it mounted. And this is the choice of lock that I'm going to use on the end clamps. And it's not a rounded shackle. It is a kind of like a polygon or hexagon shaped shackle. That makes it a little tougher to cut with, uh, with the uh, bolt cutters.